What's up everyone, Forever Lady Studios here, back again with another episode of Forever Answering Your Questions. This is episode two of this new series, if you guys are new to this. Uh, last week I started up a new series that I'm going to continue down the road with. And it is a kind of Q&A series where once a week I kind of go through your comments, pick certain ones out, and read them on the actual video and then answer them as best as I can. Now I do want to apologize if your question was not put in today's video, but don't worry if you if it wasn't put in this video, go ahead and rewrite it again or if you have another question, go ahead and write in the comment section and I will get back to you in the next video. So without me blabbering anymore, let's get right into today's first question. First question comes from Tanbrix what is your favorite season of the Clone Wars? So my favorite season, er, overall, I really enjoyed the Clone Wars when I was younger. I, at when I was younger, I did wait a week for each episode to come out. And uh, as best as I could, I would always try to rewatch the series when I can. Of course, being on Netflix, I have rewatched it multiple times. Uh, but honestly, out of all the seasons, I, my favorite is probably season three and season two. Um, now, no hate to any of the other series. I love the series as a whole. Uh, but the third season I loved so much is because I thought it was such a really cool season. Um, it was like the first one I got on DVD set as well. And I just remember going back and rewatching it. It's plus, plus it has a bunch of my favorite uh, characters like Rex, Fives, Cody, Echo, and all those characters um, in some of the episodes. And I don't know, I always just enjoyed some of the, uh, that season. There's a few episodes in there where I kind of disliked but they were kind of just eh to me but there's also some really cool episodes like uh the mission to the citadel the mission um of mandalore and then of course the uh situation on Kamino, which i just really love that uh then season two i also really enjoyed because i had some really cool battles including uh returning to uh, i almost said Kamino, uh returning to geonosis which i just thought was a great arc I guess you could say so season three and season two are my favorite seasons of the Clone Wars so let's get right into the next question right here okay our next question comes from Frank's fantastic bricks he asks, what is your dream mock from the Clone Wars keeping with the Clone Wars uh, I guess style today uh, my favorite dream mock I guess or dream mock in general for the Clone Wars would have to be um, thinking about it Pro, I, my top, I'm going to uh, skip uh, one of them because one of them may perhaps be the uh, next mock. I don't want to say anything that I don't want to end up uh, end up coming back to. Uh, but number one would probably be Megiddo because um, it, it was such a really cool battle in my opinion. I did some, I guess, lore checking on it as well as uh, I just really love the aesthetic of Megiddo. I love the Galactic Marines. I love the battle overall. It just looks so nice and I would love to actually get a reasonable size or large mock uh, built for that. Now I know of course the big problem with doing a Megiddo mock is using Galactic Marines and they aren't the cheapest uh, figure especially if you're buying customs. They aren't the cheapest uh, option for getting bulks of them uh, but that would probably be number one. My number two would definitely have to be Kashyyyk. Um, or Kashyyyk, whichever one you prefer to say, I guess. Uh, I love Kashyyyk. I thought I thought David did a, an amazing job on his Kashyyyk. And I think if I would ever decide, okay, that's what I want to do next, I definitely would love to do a large Kashyyyk mock. I think that'd be so cool to do and kind of, I guess, take, uh, take uh, my own uh, spin on Kashyyyk. So Kashyyyk and Megiddo would probably have to be my, I guess dream mock to build from the Clone Wars or Clone Era, I guess. Okay. Next question comes from Josiah Weber. He asks, great vid, thank you. Um, what draws you to Lego and Star Wars? So uh, start, I'm gonna start with Star Wars first because I kind of kind of uh, connects to the Lego loving and all. Um, Star Wars I've actually enjoyed for quite a long time. Um, when I was very little, I remember uh, wa watching on my TV, um, or I guess my family TV. Uh, I always remember watching A New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. I just, I just, I just love uh, rewatching it, and I, I just remember uh, for a while I actually, I actually loved watching Return of the Jedi so much that I ended up um, 
I guess messing with the disc or whatever i watched it so many times that uh, i've kind of started getting scratched and we had to get a new set for those movies um but uh, i just remember as a kid re-watching them uh, i also had a bunch of action figures uh from uh, star wars action figures uh that my dad passed down to me and i just i would dump them all out on the floor start playing my own scenes from star wars and then having uh the movies you know on the tv in front of me um as well as uh once we got the prequel trilogy, I also watched those, uh, but preferably I watched the originals because that's uh, what I, you know, ended up watching a lot of. So that's kind of why I uh, love Star Wars. It's just I've I've loved it. I've been watching it for so long, and it's just kind of continued. And I still, of course, love Star Wars to this day, and I look forward to see what's going on. Okay, I'm sorry for that uh, situation just happened. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my reasoning for loving Star Wars is I just grew, I literally just grew up from it because my parents, my parents love Star Wars as well as, uh, my brother and it, it just kind of passed down to me and I just continue loving it. And of course I look forward to see what comes this year with Star Wars. And then with the Lego situation, it, it kind of combined, uh, my brother Matt had a bunch of Legos, uh, other, before I started getting anything Lego related, um, and he he more so had regular Legos, and then he had a few Star Wars. And I think I got into this last week in the first episode, uh, where I mentioned the first set was the uh, Sith Infiltrator. Uh, but basically, he had all these Legos, and I would always play with him with Legos. Of course, I was younger, and uh, we would always build like uh, houses or uh, really cool ships, which I always loved doing was building ships. Um, but it just continued, and then after I got older, I started getting my own sets and kind of just grew. Um, as well as uh, Star Wars being one of my favorite things, uh, seeing that they had a bunch of er, sets based on Star Wars. I always uh, remember going back to the video game or seeing the Lego Dictionary, just uh, going to Walmart or Toys R Us and seeing all these Lego sets or Lego Star Wars sets and realizing, man, I want this. I really want this. And... Um, it just kind of continued, and then later in life, I realized, okay, I can buy my own Legos and Lego Star Wars and figures and all, and it just kind of continues. Um, so hopefully that answers your question, why, what draws me to Lego and Star Wars, and I think both are just great things in my life. So next, okay, next question comes from Captain Lego Star Wars. He asks, "What's your favorite Star Wars battle in every trilogy? So prequel trilogy, originals, and the sequel." So uh, I'll get into this more in the sequels the sequel trilogy is going to be comprised of uh episode seven and eight uh because of the fact that episode nine of course hasn't come out yet and i'm going to uh i'm not going to include the clone wars rebels any shows or uh even i'm not even going to include uh rogue one or solo because of the fact that uh the question is solely based on you know different eras between prequels originals and sequels so let's start off with the prequels my favorite battle or uh yeah, I'm going to say a large battle or just battle in general. Uh, my favorite battle from the prequels is going to be Geonosis. I just love that scene. Um, now, episode two is, isn't my favorite, of course, but um, I just always love seeing that battle. I thought it was so cool seeing all these regular phase one clones going to battle against the battle droids. Um, I just thought that was such a cool battle in uh, that era and kind of got me into clone troopers, of course. Uh, but then probably after that uh, would probably be Kashyyyk. I th again, I just really love the Kashyyyk battle. I thought that was such a uh, really unique battle with Wookiees and clones fighting droids. It it's just my it's just probably uh, it had to be between the two. Um, now for original trilogy, uh, for purposes that since I'm building a Hoth mock, I'm gonna kind of uh, I'm gonna choose a different option. Hoth is definitely one of my. Uh, one of, if not my favorite battle from the original trilogy, but since that, uh, since I'm building it, that kind of showcases it. So I'm going to pick a different battle, uh, that I have like my number two, I guess you could say, um, it'd have to be Endor. Surprisingly. Uh, I really love, uh, that battle on in return of the Jedi as well as I really like, uh, playing on battlefront two on the Endor map. I thought it was such, it's just so much fun. Um, I just think it's a really cool battle, whether it be, you know, rebels versus stormtroopers or, uh, rebels and the Ewoks helping him out fighting the stormtroopers um 
and just seeing like ATATs just going and going through the battle or ATSDs or fighting in the bunker. It's just a really cool battle in my opinion, and I would love to see uh, someone do a uh, large scale, uh, or I guess a updated large scale Endor pretty soon. As well as uh, I don't know, I might take my uh, I take a jab at it myself along the road. Um, but yeah, Endor would probably be my number one minus of course, I guess. Uh, other than, of course, Battle of Hoth, which I will state Hoth is my favorite battle. And um, last but not least, it is the sequel trilogy. Again, this is just ep episodes 7 and 8 since 9 hasn't released yet. And we don't really know what battle is going to be coming from that. And um, my favorite battle might surprise you. My favorite battle from the sequel trilogy is actually the Battle of Wakanda. Or battle of Wakanda. Battle of Takudana. I, my apologies for that. Uh, the Battle of Takodan is probably my favorite battle um, from the sequel trilogy. I thought that was such a cool battle because of the fact that it was the first time you really show, uh, saw the Resistance as what it was with uh, the X-Wings flying over the lake or the pond, uh, large pond that uh, is next to Maz's castle. I love the look in the uh, scenery around it. Then you've also got um, the First Order troops uh, roaming the grounds of the destroyed Maz's castle. And of course, you've got TIE fighters coming in to attack the X-wing pilots, uh, but it's no chance because the X-wings outrank er, out uh, maneuvered them, and of course, won that battle. So I thought that was such a cool battle, in my opinion. I also do like uh, the Battle of Krayt and Star Killer Base. Both are awesome, but I think Maz's Castle or the Battle on Takodan is probably my favorite. So hopefully that answers uh, your question. So gets, uh, let's get right into the final question of the day. Okay, so today's final question comes from w Cust uh, WB Customs. He asks, what is your favorite clone character and why? So, uh, going back to the uh, clone questions, I guess. This is going to be kind of a uh, clone uh, episode. So, my favorite clones is it's kind of hard because I've got a lot of them. A lot of them are, of course, named characters, and those are going to be the ones I choose. Uh, I always say Cody's my number one favorite, though uh, he has... He is really close uh, with uh, two other characters that are just like my all-time favorite clones. Uh, but Cody's probably number one for now. Um, I just love the look of him as well as uh, he's such a cool clone. As well as his armor just looks so nice with the orange and um, the overall aesthetic of his armor. As well as his troops. I think his troops of the 212 are just amazing. Um, other than Cody, my f uh, two other favorites would have to be Rex, of course. Um, now I know Rex and Cody are like the obvious choices because Cody's the leader of his squad and Rex is the leader of the 501st. So it's kind of obvious, but Rex I thought was always such a cool clone. Uh, I remember going to see the original Clone Wars movie. I know that is a uh, an iffy uh, uh, iffy movie, uh, but I remember seeing him in battle and I thought that was such a uh, cool clone. And then seeing him throughout the Clone Wars uh, just makes me like him even more and. I, I also love the 501st. It's probably my favorite branch. Um, and now other than Rex, my I guess my favorite non-leading troop would have to be Fives. I just love Fives. He's my he's he's just an awesome character. I'm it, it's just so hard to say. He's such an awesome clone. I loved him since the first episode he was showcased in, and I I was devastated to find out what happened to him. I'm not gonna say, uh, but what happened to him in the end of the, the season seven i believe um it was just a sad ending to him but um fives cody and rex would have to be my favorite trio of clones so i think that answers your question i hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did definitely smash that like button as well as if you are new to this channel definitely subscribe and guys again if i did not get to your question this week please i do apologize but if you liked your question answered or would uh have a different question go ahead and rewrite it in the comment section below or if you have a new question go ahead and write it in the comments and i will do my best to get to it uh, i think five questions is going to be a nice uh, amount of questions because i don't want the video to go too long uh so i think five is the right right number and again if you have any questions relating to lego lego star wars or star wars in general or even mocks i would love to talk uh about my opinions on either Hoth or even other people's creations. It's just uh, really fun to talk about. So I think that's going to be it. If you enjoyed, definitely smash the like button, and I will see you guys in the next episode of your Forever Answering Your